afternoon. I am going to be doing a panel pillow. TikTok design on a panel pillow. Ah, oh, that's not big enough. It's too short or either I cut it. I hand cut these, so it might be. Oh, that one is too short. I'm going to reprint that one. Or maybe it might just be those two in the middle. Let's check the last ones. These are all cut out at or printed. Yes, yeah, this whole row. Looks like it's this whole row. I did my images at 4 by 4 I think the sizing of the squares is actually like 3.8 by 3.8, but um, I did mine at four, four each so that I don't have any um, white spaces. I'm going to go ahead and reprint that row because I do not want any white spaces. This is in the actual order and I don't want to, um, I don't want to waste product. So while that's printing, I'll go ahead and get these other ones stuck down. So I'm just going to flip each one over. I had it facing that way so that I can know where each one is supposed to face. And I am going to use heat tape to tape them down. Because I don't want any movement. And there go my printer probably running out of ink. Saying that it's out of ink, more than likely. Oh, out of paper. That's an easy fix. Okay, so loaded the paper. Hello to anyone coming in. We are doing a nine panel pillow. These are one of my biggest sellers whenever I can keep them in stock. A lot of times I don't keep them in stock. They sell out as soon as I get them in. My customers love them. So I am just taping down each image because I don't want any movement, any ghosting, or anything like that. I don't want any white spaces, so I am reprinting a, a few of them that I probably cut too short because I did hand cut these. Let's check it out because this is that road is kind of too short. See, that's going to leave a white edge. So I don't want to use that one. Let's go up here. Yeah, I see this Koala um, brand paper. This is why I love it. Any other paper folds up under this heat. This is really hot. I'm set at 400 um, degrees. And normally my paper, any other brand paper, will fold up, up under this heat. But this Koala brand paper is really, really good for with withstanding heat. Let's check this one out. See, there's a white edge up there. If I push it all the way up to that edge, then I have a white edge down here. And I don't want that because then I'll be wasting product because I'm not going to give it to my customer that way. So I am reprinting those. I know I've said that a few times, but you never want to waste product. Not when it's something that can be fixed easily. So that's what I'm doing. Reprinting it. Let's see about this one. This is the first one I think that I noticed that was smaller. See, this whole row is actually... I don't know. I, I checked it and it's printed at four. So it might be just the squares that are a little bit, a tad bit bigger than the others. So 
So I did um, widen the picture to 4.1 by 4.1 on that row that I reprinted. And so I am gonna cut those out. And I just reprinted the whole page to keep from wasting time. I'm only gonna cut this row right here. I do cut it printed out on 13 by 19 paper. That just gives me space for cutting because I hand cut these. it should be okay you don't see no white spaces so we're going to go ahead and press this i do press all of them at the same time for this pillow i do sell this exact same pillow but it's a thicker um more canvas style pillow and i stopped ordering those because i like these better but you all are the customer so if you like the big thicker one if you've ever purchased it and would like that one in store as well i will keep both in store but i did switch to this um thinner silkier material um and i like it pictures show up a little bit better i do have one of the other pillows i can show you and it's the exact same thing it's just thicker it's this one here and like i said it's more of a canvas style pillow it is bigger. I think this one is 18 inches. The other one is only um, 16 by 16, so 40 centimeters. This one is a tad bit bigger, and it's way thicker. The back is um, way thicker. The top is way thicker, and it's like a canvas style. <clears throat> and I'll grab one of these just so you can see the difference. So this is the difference between the two. I don't know if you can tell on camera. But I can carry both, but this is what we have in stock. Okay, so let's see how these turned out. Make sure I didn't have any white spaces. Looks like it turned out pretty good. Um, you do always want to cover the top. As you can see, um, although the sublimation ink didn't too much bleed through that pillow bleed did bleed through and that could always be transferred to your next project so you always want to cover these pillows nice really good colors we got just a tad bit of white space but it's not even really that noticeable right there could actually be part of the picture so i'm not worried about that Biggest thing is not having white space when you do a black background. But this here is our TikTok, a TikTok pillow. Well, pillow case. Very, very pretty. I love the way those colors are popping. I'll go ahead and stuff this pillow and post the final results for you. The pillow is available online. The link is in the description. Thank you all for tuning in and have a good day. Mm -hmm.